Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I'm making another Monster High doll for you and it's Frankie Stein. I've had so many of you requesting this so I hope you're going to enjoy it. Frankie is part of my Monster High cake series and you can check out any of the other characters by clicking on their pictures. I'll be adding to my Monster High playlist so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see my videos as I release them. So let's get started. Today of course I've got my Frankie template and you can get a copy of this in the description box below. I've got a 10 by 10 inch cake. I've got my fondant roller, a pair of scissors, a sharp knife, exacto blade, my palette knife, an offset spatula, a couple of fluffy brushes, a little bit of water. I've also got some black fondant, some grey fondant, some white and some green. I've also got a tiny little bit of dark purple and light purple, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green and some red. And today I'm using some green and purple petal dust. I've also got my board which I've created a little pattern with my fondant on. And I'm going to be using some dark chocolate ganache as well as some green buttercream frosting. So to start with I've cut my cake in the middle and I'm going to fill it with my green buttercream frosting and then pop the top of the cake back on. I've now got my template on the cake and holding my knife vertically so that I get nice straight edges I'm going to cut around the template as my template prints on A4 piece of paper, it cuts off a little bit of the back of Frankie's hair, so I'm just going to extend that a little bit. Once I've cut all the way around the template, I'm just going to remove the excess cake, and then I'm going to separate Frankie's neck from the face because it's a lot easier to cover and work on separately and then attach at the end. Now I want to have Frankie's hair a little bit more raised than her face on the cake so I've just cut the face part of the template out and then putting my knife about a centimetre into the cake I'm going to cut along her hairline. Then starting at the edge of her face I'm going to carefully slide my knife about a centimetre into the cake and remove this section. And to make sure that the neck is lower than her face, I'm just going to trim a little bit of the neck down. Using some of this beautiful dark chocolate ganache now, I'm going to cover the entire cake, top and sides, making sure I get a nice even covering. Not forgetting, of course, to cover the neck piece as well. And then I'm going to pop both pieces in the fridge for about 15 minutes to set. Once the cake comes out of the fridge, the ganache is firm to the touch and I'm going to smooth the surface over using some boiling water and my offset spatula. So just wiping off any excess water in a piece of paper towel and gently smoothing over the ganache. The heat from the spatula gently melts the ganache just enough so that I can smooth it. Now before I cover the cake with my fondant, I'm going to create a little nose and a brow region out of some fondant for Frankie. So I'm just going to roll a little bit of a ball and use the template as a guide to shape a little nose for her. I'm also going to create a little bit of a sausage for her brow region just so that it sits up a little bit on the cake. To make sure I stick these pieces in the exact position on the cake, I'm going to use my X-Acto blade and make a little mark through the template into the cake and then position the fondant pieces onto the cake. Now I can cover the cake and I'm going to do it in sections, starting off with Frankie's face and then next her hair. So I'm going to roll out my fondant, about 2 to 3 mil thick. And then once I've placed my template on the fondant, I'm going to cut along the top of her hairline, making sure I've got plenty of fondant at the bottom and sides of her face, and then gently rolling it onto my roller and draping it over the cake. I'm going to smooth the fondant now at the top and the sides of the cake, making sure to get into the grooves nicely and especially the edge that meets up with her hair. I'm also going to carefully go around the features that we put underneath the fondant such as the nose and the brows. Using the back of my paintbrush I'm going to create two little nostrils by just making a little indentation and then trim off all of the excess and give it a little smooth. Before finishing up with this green fondant I'm just going to cover the next section and put it aside. 
To make Frankie's hair, I've rolled out some white fondant as well as some black and grey and I'm going to cut out some streaks from the black and the grey fondant and place it on top of the white. Then once I've got an arrangement of streaks, I'm going to use my roller to carefully blend them together by just pressing the fondant down slightly. And then carefully rolling my fondant onto my roller, I'm going to gently drape it over the cake. Then it's a matter of smoothing out the fondant and making sure I get into all the creases and trimming off the excess. For the remainder of Frankie's hair, I'm going to repeat the same process until all of the hair section is covered. If you're a huge Monster High fan, let me know who your favourite character is in the comment section below. At this point, I'm going to transfer Frankie onto my cake board and attach her little neck section to which I've added a little scar and some stitches. To create Frankie's eyes, I'm going to cut them out of the template and then using my white, green and blue fondant, I'm going to cut out the white sections as well as the blue and greens of her eyes. Once I've attached the coloured sections of her eyes to the white fondant, I'm going to add her pupils, which I've made out of two round balls of black fondant, and of course the white reflections in her eyes, adding two little white balls and two little triangles to the edges of her eyes. Using my template as a guide, I'm going to position the eyes in the correct spot. For the eyeshadow, I've just cut out the template again and placed it on the fondant. She has two shades, a dark purple and a light purple. So once I've cut them both out, I'm going to stick the light purple on top of the dark purple and adhere them both to the cake. For the eyebrows, I'm going to follow the same procedure. And once I've cut them out of the black fondant, I'll adhere them to the cake as well. For the eyelashes, I've cut around the very edge of the eyelashes on the template and I'm going to cut the full piece out of the fondant and then very carefully using my blade, I'm going to cut each individual eyelash out. Then using the back of my paintbrush, I'm going to rub it along the top and bottom of her eyes to create a little cavity and then carefully stand her eyelashes in this. I've just created a little scar and some stitches with some grey fondant on her cheek. Now I'm going to use my petal dust starting off with my green to add some highlight and tone to Frankie's face. And then using the purple petal dust, I'm going to go over the eyeshadow area to blend the two colours together and just soften the overall appearance of the eyeshadow. To make the lips, I'm going to take a piece of red fondant, which I'm going to mould over the top of the template until I get a nice shape that resembles her bottom lip. And for the top lip, I'm going to roll two little balls of fondant and taper them out at the edge. Then with a thin piece of red fondant that I've rolled out, I'm going to stick that over the top of these fondant pieces and carefully cut around the very edge. Then picking it up very gently, I'm going to tuck the excess under and just quickly reform it if it's lost any shape and adhere it to the cake. And finally, I've added a clip to her hair out of some blue fondant as well as the bolts and screws on the side of her neck. And here she is, a Frankie Stein cake for you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and share it with your Monster High friends. I love hearing from you guys, so don't forget to leave me a comment in the section below. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more creative cake tutorials. And as always, thanks for watching.